Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that all of you guys are doing well. So let's go ahead and start with some overall energy. Adversity just flipped out. It says, I accept the challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So you guys have really been going through some challenging times lately, but Spirit is saying that you're accepting it. You're accepting that these challenges are gonna, it's make, they're making you greater. You guys really do a very good job at taking troubles or whatever you, you went through and pretty much making the best out of it. You know, it's like life gave you lemons and you know how to make lemonade. And I'm talking about some damn good lemonade too. I'm talking about good. <laughs> freedom. You know, you guys are getting gaining a new sense of freedom with your life. It's that I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So yeah, you like you're whatever happened. This shit was just water under the bridge, okay? Like, whatever. Like, it happened. You know, it's like you guys are using this to gain some, some type of sense of freedom. I'm really feeling like maybe financial freedom or something like that. For some of you guys, you've been manifesting financial freedom. What else, Spirit? Empathy. So, you guys are very empathetic. A lot of you guys have a lot of spiritual gifts where you like empaths. And see, I open, I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. So, like, you are viewing things from a higher perspective right now in your life. You're viewing things not just from, you know, one outlook. You're looking at it in a totally, like, pretty much both sides. You know, you're feeling like, well, things happen. Maybe it happened because it should have happened. Or this is going to help me become greater. Or maybe there was a lesson that the other party needed to learn, you know, and under the deck talks about acceptance. So you guys are definitely in the energy of accepting whatever happened, happens. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So that's a good prayer. Y'all, I had to say that prayer the other day, like, listen, spirit, whatever happened, happened, you know, and it's very peaceful in that space when you are accepting things that you cannot change. And you just have to know and trust that your spirit guides and your ancestors rock with you and got your back. And they're going to make sure that things play out in your favor. In mine, they always they don't care what it is, y'all. I don't care what happened to me, what somebody tried to do to me. Y'all, they always make me, it, they make it play out in my favor. They make it play out so that it's beneficial to me. And like, I'm very grateful and appreciative of them for that. You know, they just don't let me go without or lack or, you know, they don't let nobody just get me down, you know? And if they do let somebody get me down, it's because it's going to benefit me. All right. Give me one card before we jump into this message. Give me one card before we jump into this message, ancestors. Thank you. Ooh, they gave me two. Y'all. The sun goddess card. The sun goddess card is here again. I'm telling y'all, every time I see this card, this is that fireside energy. You guys are out here really taking control over your life. You're free to be who you want to be. You know, can't nobody stop you. Look at that. It says, find your bliss. I'm telling y'all, y'all y'all know who y'all are. And y'all not letting nothing or nobody stop y'all. It says, I'm following the path. I'm following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul's purpose. So everything that's going on in your life right now is helping to align you with your soul's purpose. You know, and you are being protected with the dragon spirit being here. Say, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So you guys need to spend more time out in nature, in the sun, you know, soak up those sun's rays. Like, I swear, it's very healing. It's very charging. And also, this is like some type of new beginning. This give me Phoenix energy as well. Y'all, y'all been out here taking this new beginning by the horns, like literally, and you riding and you're not getting off. Look at that release. It says, I release that which does not serve my highest purpose with gratitude and love. So shit, y'all like, well, if something is not serving you, you're letting it go. It doesn't even matter. You're going to let it go with love, like pretty much. And this really could be someone from your past that you're dealing with. You're pretty much in the energy of, you know what? I'm going to let you go. Like You're not serving me. It's hurting me more than anything. I love you and all, but what's love got to do with it at this point, right? Under the deck, it says movement and meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. So let me find out y'all out here shaking some ass, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Move around, dance, have fun. Enjoy yourself. Cut your radio up. Listen to the most ratchetest song you can find. If you like country music, blast that shit out loud. I love country music. You know, I love 
rap. I love R&B. I love O's. Like, I love Earth, Wind & Fire. It's, like, one of my favorites. You know, I love Tina Marie. Like, I love shit. I love music. So, sometimes when I'm in that low space, guess what I do? I turn my music up, and I tune out the world. You know what I'm saying? And I just go in to my happy space. So, Spirit is saying, find your happy space, y'all. Just do that. So, let's get into this love message and see... Y'all, where the hell with these cards that I got so many? What is going on? Like, let's see what's going on with the situation. No, they want me to use my other cards. Okay. Leo, I just heard, it's your thing. Do what you want to do. Cause I can't tell ya who to sock it to. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, I just heard that song. Leo, so that's crazy that Leo is here. Some of y'all may be a Leo like myself, you know, very fiery, feisty energy. Or, you know, you're just embodying this fire energy, this queen of wands, that bad bitch energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this just you. You know, even if you're not a fire sign, you know how to walk in that, that fire. You, you know you the fire. You know, you know people know not to mess with you or they definitely will be burnt. Okay. All right, what else? Wake up call. So something recently happened in your life where spirit is giving you some type of wake up call and you received it now you're woke what else yeah you was dealing with the devil or somebody who who had this devil energy and this person was giving you a bunch of fake apologies you know and it sounded good and all but she was like you know what no you're not going to keep giving me fake apologies and just giving me apologies and doing the same thing over again. You're not doing that. Stalking, lurking, and watching you. So whoever this person is is watching you. They're keeping a close eye on you. Yeah, this person got some type of toxic addictions and bad habits. I have people watching you. Didn't we just say this? This person is watching you. They got other people watching you. But right now, you are learning a lot of major life lessons that's definitely going to benefit you. So I don't care what this person got going on. Like, this is not going to block your shine. It's not going to block your blessings. You know, Spirit just got a lot that they're teaching you right now. You are, are in the learning mood right now. You're, you're the student right now to Spirit. So you're taking whatever happened between you and this person, you know, as a lesson. We will be together again. So this person is stepping through to want you to know that you guys are going to be together again. And it said, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So me personally, I feel like strengthen your relationship with yourself. Self-care. Clear, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. What else, Spirit? Thank you. I hid who I, I hid who I really am from you. So this is someone who deceived you. They hid who they really were from you. You never really truly knew who this person was. Like they just wore many faces. You tried to keep the faith though. It says this is a destined partnership. So spirit is asking that you keep the faith. What did I say? Spiritual lessons. Didn't we just say that? It says this person is in your life to teach you a lesson, teach you a spiritual lesson, something that's going to help your soul evolve. So, you know, they probably thought they hurt you. And I, don't, I ain't going to say, well, I can't even say that because fake apologies is here. So they probably did this shit on purpose. We, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Universe, go ahead and give me some more messages. What else is going on? What does person want to say? Wait a minute. Let me show these cards some more. I don't love them the way that I love you. I'm addicted to you sexually and I love you. So yeah, this that was definitely someone that they tried to introduce into this relationship or they stepped away, but they don't love this person the way that they love you. Um, actually, you force this person to hear their wounds. It's something that the other person just don't do. They don't do it for them. Okay, they just don't. Let me go ahead and pull one more card before we take this over to the other side, ancestors. Go ahead and give me a message from this person. And let's see what else they want to say. Commitment. Okay, this is about to get deep. This is about to get deep. Okay, this is a wedding ring. Oh, y'all. Now I'm nosy. Now I want to know. I'm going to take this over to the other side. Um, if this is your story, click the link in the description box. 
follow me over to Vimeo. When we get over there, I'm going to pull more from my my um, Twin Flame Conversations and Secrets cards. I'm going to clarify this commitment and see where is this heading. I want to know how does this person really feel about you? Like what's in their heart space? What you don't see coming? What is blocking this union? I also want to know what is this person's karma for hurting you? Okay. All right. That's all. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. See you on the other side.